when you've completed a imaging project in PixInsight, chances are you'll have created a lot of files along the way. I know I do. I'll have master linear files, non-linear files, starless files, stars only files, uh, all kinds of different masks, decon support uh, images, project specific um, process icons. Uh, the environment can get quite cluttered and represents an awful lot of work that was done. And you really like to be able to save that work. Uh, and you can do that in PixInsight by saving it as a project. Project basically is like a time capsule. It creates a freeze-dried version of your entire project and allows you to archive it away so that when you want, you can open it again and the entire environment is there just as you left it. This is great when you've completed a project and you want to save all that information. Maybe a year from now you'll have come up with a new processing technique and you want to try it. You can pick up your project just where you left it off and try that out. Uh, by the same token, when you've just created your very first uh, master images and loaded them into the environment, create a project then because that captures your work. Then after each work session, you should probably be recapturing that project to make sure that all the latest information is saved. So in order to work with a project or create a project, we're going to go to the file menu and we're going to pull the menu option that says save project. This panel will open it up. You can give it a name and a location where you're going to save the files. You can put your name on it. You can put notes about this particular project. And then there's a lot of options about what will be uh, captured within the project and how it will be captured. I leave these at default. Um, the, the project is compressed and you can choose what algorithm you want. I don't mess with that. You can even, even um, capture individual workspaces if you spread yourself out across those. I tend not to do that. but that's an option for you. Once you say, I'll put in all the information you want, you let it go. In this case, I've already have a, a project that I'm going to be replacing. And it'll start to run. Now this can take a while if you have a lot of files or if the files and images are very large. So keep that in mind that once you're saving, you may want to go get a cup of coffee or if you're loading an environment, you may want to get a cup, a cup of coffee. But uh, in this case, since not that much was changed since the last time I did it, save, it was pretty quick. At this point, I can quit right out of this. Okay, I've lost the entire environment. It's gone. If I open PixInsight once again, I have a clean slate. But if I want to restore that project, I can say load project, pick up the project you want, and it'll start to load the entire environment back in. <laughs> this is another case where you may want to go grab a cup of coffee because it can take a while depending on the number of files and the size of the files. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is since this is your entire environment, this will take a chunk of storage. But my guess is if you're doing a, an, an awful lot with this kind of work, you've got plenty of storage. And it's more important to capture all that hard work and organization that you put into an image. And a project is the perfect vehicle for that. And the environment has been recreated just as you've left it before. I would strongly encourage you to get used to uh, saving projects. Start early, save your work, do it incrementally after at the end of each session, and then use this to archive all of your work so you can come back and pick it up at a later date.